In this video I want to talk why React is the most popular framework, because first of all you can hear this question really often on the interview, and secondly a lot of people don't understand why it is so awesome. And to understand why React is the most popular framework, we must look a little bit on the history. Actually React was created, as you can see in Wikipedia, in 2013, and a lot of people knew about it somewhere around 2014. And at this time we had three major frameworks. First of all we had jQuery, and actually jQuery is not a framework, it's a library, but still this is just a bunch of functions which were used in cross-browser. And we don't need jQuery at all nowadays, because almost all JavaScript features are supported in all browsers. Another thing that we had in that time was Backbone Chest. And actually, if you don't know what Backbone is, this is just some wrapper with model view and controller around jQuery, which actually means it is not a lot and you still do a lot of DOM manipulations, but this is just a way to structure your code. But you still write your jQuery code just inside a framework. And the best what we had in that time was AngularJS. And actually AngularJS, the first version, doesn't have anything in common with Angular that we have nowadays. And actually nowadays AngularJS, the first version, is long-term support and you should not learn it on purpose or invest your time in it. So AngularJS approach was the most interesting. They had a life cycle inside AngularJS and they constantly were checking if our model inside AngularJS or our view inside HTML changed. And they did changes directly to the DOM every single time when we're changing model, which actually means we're talking here about two-way data binding between our model and the view. And at that time React was first presented. And actually most of the people didn't get the purpose of React and how it solves things. They just saw JS6 template inside React and they saw, okay, this is garbage, we won't use it. And as you can see, JS6 is completely new language, which is super similar to HTML, but we're writing our tags inside JavaScript. And actually it is not JavaScript at all, this is just a special syntax, which allows us to create JavaScript functions in the way how we typically write in HTML. At that time, all people want a separation of concerns. They wanted to have their JavaScript and they wanted to have separately their HTML. And they didn't want to mix them. But this is not possible, because if we are talking about modern frameworks, Vue, Angular or React, they all have exactly the same approach. They just have JavaScript functions and they don't have any HTML at all. When you are writing some markup inside all these three frameworks, you don't write HTML at all you write some pseudocode which is converted in plain JavaScript functions. And this is actually the only solution to bring the state and the HTML together, because we must write them in a single place. And typically in all these frameworks it is called components. And this is one of important features that React introduced. We have inside React not a lot of different entities like it was for example inside AngularJS, we just have components and nothing else. And actually we are splitting the whole application that we are creating inside small reusable components. This is why it is super simple to create components, to split our page in different components and have shareable logic if we need to. Because all this stuff is still JavaScript, this is why we can import our components, export and reuse everywhere. But even nowadays a lot of people don't understand the core feature of React. We are writing state inside React and React simply does its magic and re-render our HTML. Which actually means we are not working with HTML and we are not working with events. We simply have some state and we think about changing this state of React and React will mirror these changes inside HTML. And here we are coming to a super important point. React leverages virtual DOM. What is virtual DOM at all? This is the representation of our HTML page inside JavaScript. Which actually means we have a page and React, based on this page, creates pseudo-DOM inside JavaScript. And the main idea is when we have some changes inside our state, inside React, React doesn't do these changes directly with HTML. Because actually it is super slow to do anything with DOM, this is why it is much faster to compare it with data inside JavaScript. 
So actually React has the old state and the new state, it can compare these two states and after this apply only needed changes to our real DOM, which actually means React doesn't work like all other frameworks that were existing at that time. It doesn't re-render data directly inside HTML. It does it only through virtual DOM, which is extremely efficient, which actually means every single time React generates the new tree of our component and compares it with the old state to know what changes it needs to apply to the real DOM. Also, it is important to mention that React doesn't have any features to have a huge state management system. This is why we have a lot of different solutions and the most popular is Redux solution, which is a state management system and it plays really nicely together with React. So even if we are counting from 2014, React exists already 8 years and it is still the most popular framework. Why it is like that? Because actually we don't have anything new. We have Angular, React, Vue, which are three most popular frameworks and they all are working in the same way. Yes, you have different syntax in all of them, but the idea is the same. They all are using virtual DOM underneath to compare their changes. They all have some component-based system because this is the easiest way to split the whole application. And actually this is the answer, after React we didn't get anything new and all other frameworks are working exactly in the same way. And also, if you are interested to learn how to maintain life-working balance, make sure to check this video also.